What's up guys, my name is Devin and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. Today we are going to be bringing you guys a very special end of year video. We've taken it upon ourselves to share with you guys some of the drippiest guys in the NFL. We're going to start this video off by talking about who has the best helmet setup, then who has the best glove game, and lastly the best cleat heat. After we wrap those up, we're going to be talking about who has drip at each specific position. We're going to have a straight out winner and then also a runner up at each position and I'll kind of give you guys a quick explanation on why I chose who I chose. Please keep in mind that all of these are totally my own opinions, so you guys probably have totally different opinions. If you guys want to drop them in the comments below, feel free. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. It's a ton of work, but it was a lot of fun. So let's get into it. The first award we're going to talk about today is the best helmet setup. The player with the best helmet setup, in my opinion, is Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers. For me, this was a pretty easy choice. Brian Burns just simply has one of the most unique helmet setups in the entire NFL. The helmet itself is obviously the Riddell Speedflex, but the major piece is his custom Spider-Man face mask. This custom mask is probably the coolest in the NFL and the main reason I chose Burns helmet setup. There's lots of jagged eye bars. It looks really aggressive and obviously it's inspired by Spider-Man. Along with that face mask, he's worn a wide assortment of visors. He's worn a Shock 2.0 0G in 20%, clear and sapphire. He also pulled out this really cool Spider visor as well. For these visors, he's using Under Armour's unbranded visor clips to secure them to the face mask. Also, if you guys look closely, you'll see the visor clips kind of sit kind of funky because this mask is so weird. He's also rocking the Sports Star Victory T-Rex Hurricane with a Drymax Easy Chin Saver. These are just a great upgrade to any helmet setup and they make it much more comfortable. Looks cool too. Lastly, he's worn a few different mouth guards from both Vedex and Loudmouth. Overall, I absolutely love this helmet setup. It's totally custom and unique to Burns and easily my favorite in the NFL. The next award we're going to talk about is the best glove game. Player with the best gloves this season is going to be Jamar Chase of the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, he's worn a couple different models this year, but we're going to start with his Nike VaporJet 7.0s. Jamar Chase is one of Nike's most prominent athletes, which means he gets special treatment from the brand. And at the beginning of the season, he was given a nice package of different Bengals themed PEs and they look amazing. He wore them in this really nice orange and white colorway that had his number one on the palm. He also had a black and white pair that had these black and gray bangle stripes on the palm. And the final pair, my absolute favorite of the Nike Vaporjet 7s was his white bangle Nike Vaporjet 7s. These are pretty much all white and they have those icy white bangle stripes on the palm. I just think they look so good, especially when they went all white. Now, aside from the Nike Vaporjet 7.0s, he was also the first player to debut the Nike Vaporjet 8.0s. At the time he was wearing these, they were simply a prototype and they weren't available to the public yet. He wore them in an all white colorway, an all black colorway, and then a magma colorway that is personal to him. I'd say Chase had a pretty stellar glove rotation this season. That's the main reason why I chose him as the the best gloves of 2023-2024. Up next, we got to crown a cleat heat king, and that's going to be Quincy Williams of the New York Jets. This season, Quincy Williams was an insane cleat heat all year long. Let's take a quick look at some of the pairs he pulled out. K1 Nike Dunks, the Kobe 6 Grinch, Louis Vuitton Nike Dunks, KD6 Aunt Pearls, Grateful Dead Dunks, K1 Vapor Edge 360 Pro 2s in that pink colorway, green foam posits, white foam posits, black Louis Vuitton off-white Nike Dunks, and some Travis Scott 1 in that all-black Phantom colorway. This is easily one of the most impressive cleat rotations I've ever seen during my time covering this stuff. He mixed in some popular general release cleats, reconstruction customs of iconic basketball silhouettes, and mixed in some lifestyle-based customs as well. He absolutely dominated the cleat heat game this year and is well-deserving of the best cleat heat of 2023-2024. Now that we've got those three awards out of the way, we're going to head into the individual position awards. Again, we're going to have two guys for each position. The positions we're going to be doing are quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, O-line, interior D-line, edge, linebacker, cornerback, and safety. Now we're going to kick things off with quarterback. The quarterback with the most drip for this season is going to be Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. I think this was a pretty easy choice. Jalen Hurts has great drip top to bottom. His Riddell speed flex with the Oakley visor is a super clean look for a quarterback. He has a few simple arm accessories like the sweatband and the wrist coach and then the occasional Jordan glove for some extra grip in the wet. But honestly, all the drip really comes from his insane Jordan brand PEs. He wore some ones, fours, fives, tens, elevens, twelves, and then there's probably some more that I'm missing. We're going to throw a bunch of them up on the screen for you guys to check out. Just know Jalen Hurts cleat game is absolutely next level. And that's why Jalen Hurts has been selected as the drippiest quarterback. Now the runner-up is one of my favorites, Kyler Murray. K1 is also rolling with the Speedflex Oakley Visor combo. He's often rolling with his baggy long sleeve undershirt, which is always a good look in my opinion. He's also rocking his custom trade decal Bruce Lee thigh pads, which are always really dope to see. And lastly, he was rocking some legit cleat heat. We'll put some of them up on the screen. A lot of them are just simple Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro 2 PEs and some unique colorways. Good cleat heat and a clean overall look is enough for runner-up for QBs. Next up, running backs. The running back with the most drip this season was DeAndre Swift of the Philadelphia Eagles. Swift has been one of my favorite looks for a while now and he killed it in Philly this season. Up top, we've got the Riddell Speedflex with the angled eye guards face mask and a 20% Oakley visor. He also wore a white Vedex mouth guard, which helps make this one of my favorite helmet setups among running backs. Some games he'd roll with black turf tape on his arms and then sometimes no arm accessories whatsoever. For his gloves, he did a good job mixing up models in different colors and was just constantly doing stuff different. He also did a great job with his cleat game, mixing in some customs, some basketball silhouette inspired customs, and then also some OG classic cleats as well. Overall, super clean look and my favorite amongst running backs. For the runner-up, I have selected Jameer Gibbs of the Detroit Lions. 
I absolutely love the look of Gibbs and it all starts with the helmet setup. He's got the Riddell Speed Flex with the open OBJ style face mask and the VEDX mouth guard. The thing that honestly puts him so high on my list is that he would consistently wear all black accessories. The gloves, turf tape, undershirt, and his cleats all in black just looks so good. It's a little bit different. I love when guys do black accessories. I can't get enough of how clean and simple this look was and I can't wait to see it again next season. Next up, wide receiver. The wide receiver with the most drip this season is CeeDee Lamb of the Dallas Cowboys. He absolutely killed it this season. He rocks one of the cleanest speed flex setups in the game. The OBJ style face mask, a bunch of different visors, a chin strap sleeve, and a VEDX mouth guard. He also wore a couple different glove models in Cowboys colored PE colorways, which looked amazing. For his arms, sometimes he would rock a sleeve and sometimes just a sweatband in a bunch of different colorways. He also had some custom trade decal side pads and lastly, an insane cleat game. He had a couple pairs of custom Kobe's, some sweet Nike Dunks, the Diamond Turf 96s, and then just some regular PEs as well. Just tons of really dope gear all over the place and well deserving of the top spot. Now in the runner up slot, we have Odell. Beckham Jr. of the Baltimore Ravens. I shouldn't really have to explain this one. Iconic Revo speed setup, custom gloves, the double arm sleeves, and all these crazy cleats all season long. Tons of really dope gear all around from OBJ, one of the most influential guys of our generation. Next up, tight ends. For this season, I selected David Njoku as the tight end with the most drip. Now, I'm not really sure what it is about this look, but it's one of my favorite looks in football and especially at the tight end position. Up top, he's got a clean Riddell speed flex setup with a couple different visors and a white VEDX mouth guard. For his arm accessories, he rolls with a padded sleeve on one arm and then some bands on the other. He also always has those black Don Joy wrist braces, which is fitting for a tight end. And he also does a really nice job pulling out some of those older Adidas gloves, which I've always been a big fan of. Lastly, his cleat game, honestly, it needs some work. Hopefully he works on it for next year, but overall, really good look for a tight end. Now the tight end runner up has to be my guy, Tyler Conklin. He's got some of the most slept on tight end swag in the entire league. Up top, he's got a shut F7, which you don't really see a lot of tight ends rocking. Of course, he's got a visor on there as well. And he rocked a bunch of different colored VEDX mouth guards throughout the season. For his arms, he's always rolling with turf tape and sweatbands. And then of course, his tattoos count as well. They look really dope with everything else. And lastly, Lastly, he was wearing some Jordan 10s custom painted in Jets colorways all season long. Although this whole look is pretty simple, it's very unique and I just had to toss him into that runner-up spot. Next up, offensive line. For offensive line, there was a couple guys I kind of considered, but I landed on rookie offensive lineman Roderick Jones for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I wasn't really aware of his drip until recently, but it looks really good for an offensive line. Up top, he's rolling with a speed flex, a custom 808 mask with jagged eye guards, a 20% Oakley visor, and a lip guard mouth guard. You don't really see a lot of old linemen doing that much with their helmet setup, but this one's fire. He also rocks a Nike arm sleeve on one arm, black wrist braces, and a couple different glove models. He always has his undershirt kind of hanging out and also spatted up some OG Nike Alpha Menace Elites from 2017. Just an all around good look and definitely a guy to pay attention to on Sunday. The runner up here is a guy with a very similar look and that's going to be Jedrick Wills of the Cleveland Browns. Jedrick has been one of my favorite looks for offensive linemen since he entered the league so I had to include him on here. Up top he's rolling with Riddell Speed Flex with a couple different face masks and a dark visor of course. He's always rolling with the long sleeve slightly pulled up and then rocking either black or white cutter lineman gloves. For his cleats he's got the OG Nike Zoom Coat Elite spatted up for some extra support. Overall just a great look for an offensive lineman and my runner-up for this season. Next up we've got interior defensive line. I've selected Quinnen Williams of the New York Jets. It's been really dope to see this guy bring out more and more gear as his career progresses. For this season, he rolled with the Riddell Speed Flex, a dope custom face mask, and then some really dope Oakley visors as well. He rocked some Nike Super Red 6.0s in a couple different colorways and then took a huge step up in his cleat game. He was pulling out a bunch of Jordans and all these different Jets colorways all year long. Again, this is a super simple look, but it looks good for the guys up front battling in the trenches. I think it's clean. Now the runner up for the big boys in the trenches is going to be Maurice Hurst of the Cleveland Browns. Now this is another guy I wasn't really familiar with, but his swag is undeniable. He's another guy with a Riddell Speed Flex helmet, a cool face mask, and a dark visor. That seems to be the magic recipe for big boys with a lot of drip. Also, this dude wears like a legit chain around his neck while he plays. It's pretty crazy. He also rocked an arm sleeve, a little wrist coach, and some big Nike D-Tech gloves with a whole bunch of tape all over them. He also has some simple trade decals with his number 90 and then some regular cleats in Browns colorways. It's a bit of a wild look, but I kind of messed with it and I felt it was deserving of the runner-up spot. Next up, we have edge defenders. For this one, I've selected Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers. Now, we already talked a little bit about Burns when we went through his helmet setup, so I won't go through that again. But in addition to that crazy setup, he's also been rocking a bunch of different arm accessories, including sleeves, turf tape, and even this crazy bulky arm brace. He also had an awesome rotation of different Nike Superbad 6.0s in Panthers colorways. Lastly, Burns was pulling out a little bit of cleat heat throughout the season. He had some Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite 2s in some cool Panthers colorways and then even pulled out a pair of Panda Dunks. Overall, just a very well-coordinated look and easily my favorite amongst Edge guys. Now, the runner-up is going to be a guy a lot of you guys probably don't know about, and that's going to be Janarius Robinson of the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, this is another under-the-radar dude that's been putting it on every single week. He's another flex guy with the jagged eye guards and an Oakley visor, and he's also got a bunch of chains under underneath his pads as well. For his arms, he's got a sleeve, a sweatband, and some wrist braces. He's also got some of the DTAC gloves on there, but super taped up with black tape. Lastly, he's been pulling out some really dope Jordan 13 cleats, which you don't really see that often, and they're pretty hard to find, so that's really cool. And they're also a perfect colorway to wear with the Raiders. 
Overall, this dude has a super underrated look, so I had to put him on here, show him some love. Next up, we've got linebacker. I have chosen Mac Wilson of the New England Patriots. Now, this dude right here has one of my favorite looks in all of football. His attention to detail is next level, and he does an amazing job mixing things up week to week. This season, he's worn both the Speed Flex and the F7, and both setups are super clean. The Speed Flex setup has a crazy custom face mask, a visor, and a lip guard, and then the F7 setup has a dark Oakley visor and a standard EGOP face mask. For arm accessories, we saw sleeves and then a handful of these custom sweatbands. He had these in a ton of different colorways and all of them have his number three on them in the Patriots font. This type of attention to detail is just what I love to see when I'm doing these. He also wore a wide variety of glove models, including some Nike standard stuff, some Ezekiel Elliott PEs, and then some Jordan stuff and some other stuff as well. Of course, he also had some trade decal custom thigh pads and then plenty of cleat heat throughout the year. When it comes to drip, this dude is honestly just on another planet from everybody else and honestly deserves his whole full length video. The runner up for linebackers is going to be Quincy Williams of the New York Jets. Now this is another dude we talked about when we did the best cleats, but the rest of his drip is pretty good too. Up top, we've got the shut F7 and some dope visors. I love the F7. I think it looks really good on him. Now there's not too much going on with the arms, but he does have some nice Nike Super Red 6.0s in green. Now the cleat game is the real reason we're here. We'll show you the cleats again really quick, but honestly, just an absolutely out of this world rotation. So insane. Every single Sunday, I'm just so eager to see what this guy pulls out for his cleat heat. Next up, we've got cornerbacks. I have selected Jalen Ramsey of the Miami Dolphins. Now for me, this one felt pretty obvious. We've talked about his drip all year long, and this award was basically his since he stepped back onto the field. Up top, he's got his shut F7 with his very own custom face mask, a dark Oakley visor, and his iconic lip guard hanging from the mask. He's done double shooter sleeves in a bunch of different colors, rocked some insane Nike PE gloves in a ton of colors, and just did a great job coordinating his gear head to toe. Now, of course, you know he has some custom trade decal thigh pads, and then his cleat game was insane. We've talked about his signature shoe a lot, the Factory Lab JR1, and all the insane customs he's worn this season. When it comes to cleat game, this dude has been on another level with it, and he will continue to be so. His color coordination, attention to detail, and custom gear made for him will always make him win this award every single year. The runner-up is going to be Byron Murphy of the Minnesota Vikings. Now, this dude right here is another one of my personal favorites since his time in Arizona. He's another guy who's constantly changing his gear every single week. Up top, we've got the Riddell Speed Flex, a clear Oakley visor, and a green lip guard mouth guard. And for arm accessories, he's constantly switching it up. Sometimes it's two sleeves, sometimes a couple sweatbands, and then sometimes just some turf tape. And then lastly, this dude has a very nice collection of cleats as well. He had a great mix of super clean customs and then some iconic throwbacks as well. Overall, I just love how he switches up and I love his overall look and I felt he was well deserving of the runner-up spot. Next up, we've got safeties. I have selected Grant Delpit of the Cleveland Browns. This dude is another one of my favorites since his time back at LSU. He puts it on every single week and just looks super clean. Up top, he's got the Riddell Speed Flex with the eye guard style face mask, a clear Oakley visor, and occasionally some tinted visors for pregame. He's got arm sleeves going on, some solid cutters gloves, and then some custom thigh pads. Those are all key pieces to his look as well. Super clean, super simple. And then lastly, his cleat game is some of the best around. He pulled out some serious designer heat, some Kobe's, and even some foam posits. He's got all those little details that make him one of the drippiest guys in the game, and in my opinion, the drippiest safety. For the runner-up, I've chosen Deshaun Elliott of the Miami Dolphins. This dude is another longtime favorite of mine, and this year he's been really putting it on for the Dolphins. He's another dude in the Riddell Speed Flex that hopped on the angled bars bandwagon this season. And I just think it's a great look for pretty much any position. He also wore an Oakley Prism visor and a couple different VEDEX mouth guards. For his arms, he often just rolled with double shooter sleeves look, which I like, and then some regular Nike Super Red gloves. His cleat game was pretty fire as well. He pulled out the diamond turf, some custom LeBrons, and then some regular painted customs as well. Overall, this dude looks good. It's always going to be one of my favorite looks every single year. There you guys have it. There's our end of season drip awards. This video was a ton of work. Please let us know in the comments what you guys agree with, what you disagree with. Feel free to drop your own awards in the comments below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like the video, comment what you guys want to see from us next, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers.